Welcome back everybody to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection. It may not be the official start of summer, but it does feel like it. That's right. And it's not only because of the heat wave that we're having right now, but also because it's the last day of school for some students in Rhode Island, Barrington, Bristol, Warren, Narragansett and North Kingstown students all start their summer vacation today. So all districts getting out within the next week or so with uh, Jamestown getting out uh, the latest in June on June 26th. Wow. So this got us thinking though about what we looked forward to when we were kids about the start of summer vacation and some of the most popular activities include going to a concert, mm -hmm. camping, and of course, I mean, why not going to the beach? Going to the beach was always a big one. I would love my aunt used to rent a house down to Sand Hill Cove. Chestnut, is it Chestnut? I think it's Chestnut Drive, Chestnut Street, down near Sandy Hill Cove. And when I was a kid, we'd go down there all the time. And I, I remember one year, it was not a good, I'd be, we were down there for two weeks. Yeah. Rained every single oh. day. Rained every single day as I was a little kid. Actually, that was the year, <laughs> no, that was the year Elvis died. Oh, wow. Because I remember being a little kid sitting That's in front of, memory. sitting in front of the TV and hearing the announcement that Elvis that died. Elvis was my young kid. It I was, was like, oh, right. it was And it was downpouring the whole time. But one of my other memories was, we never went to camp. Like, I never went to camp. Yeah. You know, there were a couple of kids who went off to camp or something like that. I remember there used to be these, like, small little, I don't even know what they camp, like, day activity things. Yeah. They were held at different, like, small little parks around East Providence. Right. And I didn't, like, sign up for it, but my friends went. So I would stroll down the hill, because I lived over in the USA, and I'd go down the hill and across to the little park there, and they would have, like, snacks during the day. Would you not? Would you take them? Oh, yeah, I would take them. I would sit there with everybody. And we would make, uh, they would make, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, gimp bracelets. Remember oh gimp? Oh, my God, gimp bracelets. Yes. <laughs> yes. I forgot yes. about those. They them. would make, like, gimp, that back. gimp bracelets. And I remember every day they'd drop <laughs> off the, the, the square thing full of, like, milks every day. Oh, my God. I yeah. I love that. Yeah. I just hop down. Every oh time I God. drive down like Nevada over that in that area, I'm like, that's the park. I go down the hill and over, over there. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, my kid's last day of school is today. Yeah. And for me growing up, we belong to Kembrin over in East Providence. Sure. And uh, we do with our children now. Right. And it's funny, though, because every time I go there, my dad was just saying this the other day, it is like 1980 when right. you walk in because nothing has changed. Sure. And there's something really nice about that, especially in this day and age. But, you know, like little things like passing like your deep end test that was always like the kickoff to summer right, right. and they used to give you these cute little pins you could pop on your bathing suit I did make all the you know the little oh, yarning yes, bracelets yes. there they had like arts and crafts for a dollar they still do that right so you know for me too it really is because my kids go there every time summer kicks around it's like going back again that's one 25 thing 30 years and there is something really nostalgic and just nice about it that. is it is it so. is Brendan one one more thing what I like what, growing up I was not a member of the pool club because there was another pool club at Grist Mill remember that Grist Mill yes, yes. Grist Mill I used to jump the fence. Ah, oh, yes. I wasn't a member. But, or, or I had a friend on the inside who would unlock the door just, you know, and let me in. cameras now. You can't do that. No. And let me in. I'm going to retroactively have you arrested for trespassing. <laughs> Actually, I was used to do this with a guy who's now, well, he was a retired cop. Oh, so he's safe. He's safe. safe. What are they going to do? <laughs> Statue of limitations have run out. It's over. I remember the last, this is because I'm 100, the last day of school, 1990, third grade, my grandfather picked my brother and me up and we went. It was a half day. A lot of times the last day of school right. was a half. Right to the movie theater to see Back to the Future oh, 3. Oh, nice. man, we were so excited. We still talk about it. Yes. We still see him pulling up and taking us there. And you know I was a budding basketball superstar before <laughs> reality kicked in right, right. as a kid. And I would go to PC basketball camp every summer. And you know, I'm the 1992 Friar Shooting Champion at the Rick Barnes Basketball Are you? How can we I, I, I'm just throwing I that out there. His name's in the rafters. Rick Barnes, former <laughs> coach. <laughs> For other reasons. For other reasons. He wrote it there himself. Rick Barnes, former Friar coach. He and I have the same birthday, July 17th. So it would oh. be, summer would be an exciting time for me as a kid. Absolutely. Now it's just pathetic and I live in the past. Now we just talk about it. <laughs> Oh, and I also remember one summer my dad decided to go. He, he was busy for like a week, so my brother and I would be home, and Auntie Betty watched my brother and me, mm. and I'll never forget. We watched endless episodes of Supermarket Sweep in the oh middle God. of the day. Remember that remember show? That. We come I remember that yes. show. So yes. those are some vivid summer memories yes. that just came flooding back. She would yell at the screen, get the expensive stuff, the steaks. You know, it would be a lot of that. You guys ever did like the creamery? Remember like that was like the only place you could really go for the creamery. I, well, I'd, go, I'd go to uh, Sunshine Creamery. Oh, that's right, Sunshine yeah, yeah. Definitely.
Go for the filet. Yes. <laughs> Let's check in with our viewers. Here's what you had to say about this. Ruth Ann is up first. She says, growing up, I loved attending Girl Scout camp, although I didn't like swimming in the swamp either. My boys went to baseball camp, and my daughter went to Girl Scout camp. When she was old enough, she became a camp counselor. A very nice... Who is up next? Steven. I enjoy his outlook at this stage of the game and being retired. I look forward to the grandchildren getting out and just seeing them more. Also, just goofing off and doing things with them that will make my kids angry, which is, as he likes to point out, I love this, a grandparent's job. That's very <laughs> sweet. Dennis remembers, and I think we all have that memory of when we started working. When I was 15, I looked forward to being able to work as I had my, yes, working paper. Summer vacation meant I could work full time, meaning more money to save and have. That's right. And when it comes to summer vacation memories and Marie remembers those two blissful words there they are oh yeah no homework mm -hmm. love will. that will in the summer school oh, I was in summer school of course how could we forget thanks for an overachiever <laughs> don't be jealous <laughs> Maybe at three times. Hey, look, Once, twice, three he's times. nothing if not honest. He needs to keep his brain moving right. all Thank summer. You. Please keep those comments coming. Follow us at The Roadshow, Facebook, X, and Instagram. And you never know, we may leave your comment right here on the air.